do you mean to tell me that you've been playing anime adventures this whole time and don't know how to do the 100% Wenda buff? Well, fear not, because today we will be showing you exactly how to get that buff every single game, 100% of the time, to get 100% damage extra on your troops. It's not that difficult, and honestly, this goes to show how important it is to have Wenda on your team, even though she's a legendary. You know, I know a lot of people who want to run the game with just Mythics, but Wenda, this is going to be your time to shine. Uh, by the way, my name's Kare. I'm Kanojo. And uh, let's jump into a level here. We're going to do Planet and Mock Infinite Mode just so that we can get all of our troops down pretty soon. Show you guys exactly how Wenda works. And uh, we'll probably just catch you after a few rounds once we have most of our units down so you can see exactly how Wenda works. We won't put Wenda down until the very end. And so don't worry, we will show you exactly how the process works so you don't miss a thing. All right, so we've accumulated a lot of money. We have put down a lot of our magic troops. And so now it's time to show you exactly how to put down Wenda. So it's actually a little more special than some people might know. So we're going to put our first Wenda down here, making sure that the last unit, the last leafy that I have right here is within her range. So we're going to put it down right there. And now we have this range to work with. And we're going to make sure that the next Wenda is within this range, okay? And so let's put her down, let's say, right here just to keep the buff, you know, the buff going. And so let's keep make sure her range is still selected. And we'll, we'll put down our last one right over here just to make sure it gets everybody. All right, so we have three Wendas left that we can put down. And we're going to put down the third to last one right here. So in this, you'll see that this Wenda is within her range, okay? So now we want to start placing our next Wenda without covering any other units besides the last Wenda that we want here. And then the same with this one. So we're going to make sure that the range is open. We're going to put our Wenda down right here. All right, so all six of our Wendas are down right now. Obviously, we did this a little special so that we could spell out buff and give all of our units that 100% damage. But this will work along any, uh, any, I guess, layout that you want to do. So let's go ahead and start buffing them. So this is going to buff this one to 30%, which doubles her buff now. So now the next one is to 69%. And when we buff this one, everything in this range gets 100%. And if we buff this one, it continues the 100%. So what you can do is grab all the Wendas you put down and buff them all. And that is, my friends, how you get 100% damage on Wenda. It's kind of funny because I feel like you can hardly make out the word buff here. But nonetheless, that is exactly what's going on. So this is one of the strategies that we use in order to beat some of the really harder rounds later on in the game. Like Windum and some infinite levels. And especially the puppet portals. I don't know if you guys have been grinding for that puppet island uh, recently. But it, it's such a helpful thing to use. Because Wenda, when she's giving the 100% buff... I mean, obviously the unit's damage are double. But it's it literally has let us go an extra like 10 or 15 rounds. When, as if, you know, in certain situations where we hadn't used her, we would have gone anywhere near as far. So, you know, this is something that's game-breaking, I would say. A character that's very similar is Leafy. You need to upgrade Leaf or evolve Leafy uh, to actually get the buff, though. So I haven't upgraded Leafy yet. It's it costs a lot to get it. I haven't evolved Leafy yet. It costs a lot to get that done. So when that happens, Leafy I would say ends up being a little bit better because she buffs the units by fifty percent, and so you only need two Leafies. But the strategy works exactly the same. So. Uh, I hope you guys, if you have Leafy, you're able to make use of this. If you don't have Leafy, then hopefully you at least have Wenda, because this is phenomenal. So, you know, what are your thoughts on Wenda being that good and getting the 100% buff? She's definitely a great character, and she is just is such a great unit to have in your pockets. Regardless of if you have only Mythics or you only have Legendary, this is always this is going to be a, such a great help for your unit. So it's definitely the character to watch out for. Yeah, we've been getting really lucky getting some characters. And so my normal team always, every single time, includes Wenda, Bulmy, and Oshi. When you have those three, the game just breaks. You, you can beat anything. I was beating Wyndham levels on my own. 
without having to get any help. So I haven't incredible. been able to do that. Exactly. Even with help, I have, mm -hmm. I'm struggling on some with them challenge. Yeah, so if you guys have any questions or you feel like anything wasn't explained exactly in a way that maybe you could understand, then let us know. We would be happy to show you guys or give you guys some more info. And if you guys want to play with us and take advantage of our Wenda buff, then you can go ahead and add us. My username is the Anime Chronicles, and yours? The Anime Chronicles. Yeah, so Annie instead of Anime. So I hope you guys enjoyed and learned a lot from this Wenda buff tutorial, which kind of a sylph or a leafy sylph buff tutorial too if you did then please drop a like give us a subscribe so you can catch the tutorials that we have coming in the future and uh, yeah to stay tuned with any anime adventures content that we bring Bye.